Hey guys, it's Michelle. I'm like a mess. I just did a yard sale. That wasn't the greatest. But now I wanted to film um, some toy videos we haven't done in a while. Jesse's gonna start sniffling. There's literally no place for you to go here, okay? No room. So I don't know if this is gonna come out before or after I make a certain announcement, but um, that's why we're. If I have, you'll see that video. You'll know that we're not like, you know, hiding anything. Let's see if we can come in closer. Anyway. But I'm going through things. I need to go through things. Um, and I will give you deets later if I haven't already. So there is a ton of toys I'm going through. Some of these are going to be put in eBay and yard sales. Um, but of course, a lot I'm going to keep. So I'm going to try to organize these things by um, collection. Some of them don't have a collection. But um, we're just going to get started. Now the first things I have... I have three, thank you desk, go on, go. Um, at least in close proximity, there are four Polly Pockets. Oh, four and a half. And some little things here and there, uh, which we will get started with first. So I'm just gonna show you those and we're gonna be making a couple different videos like this. Um, hopefully you'll find it fun because we haven't done any of these in a while. So we're filming obviously we're in the same room, different spot. A lot of my collectibles are here in the background as you can see in my shoes. So we're gonna get started. So the first thing I want to show you, I guess you would call this a knockoff Polly Pocket. This was um, a Pocahontas travel toy. It was a necklace because everybody was all about when this movie came out. All the girls wanted her necklace. My mom actually made me one when I was a kid. I'm um, out of beads, which is really really cool. It broke eventually, but. So this is what it looks like on the inside, guys, if it focuses. As you can see, we have the tree. I think her name was Mother Willow, if I'm not mistaken. And then on this side, we have kind of a tree-like thing there. And we have our two figures. We have Pocahontas. And, of course, we have John Smith. This comes down. Well, it's hard to do this when you're one-handed. So this comes down, this is it's just made out of cardboard, and the inside is very cheap. I'm going to push up the little sunflowers right there, and the little pond. We're gonna, this is not going the way I wanted. Come on. Yeah, this is going great. It's a really great toy video, Michelle. Really great. What this is, I'm trying to show you the figures themselves. All right, dear holy. There we go, John Smithy and Pocahontas right there. I probably should not be in the frame for these toy videos, but um, that's how we're going to do it. So these were a little compactable, as you can see. There's the little sunflowers. This was uh, really cool. I really enjoyed these. I had a huge thing for Polly Pocket when I was little. Even these little faux Polly Pockets. And then it just closes up within itself. Probably should bring you in closer. <sighs> okay, there we go. And just this little seashell. So super duper cute. Absolutely love it. So now we're going to go to the Polly Pockets themselves. So this one is old. This was one of my originals. And um, there are some broken pieces in here, but we're just going to get it open. Some of you may be familiar with this. This is the little school set. Um, the ink is still in there. And you can see I did use it as a kid. It's a mess. It's stained everywhere. So I'm going to stand the teacher up for you so you can see her. So here's the teacher. And each one of these is a different stamp. Now she's standing because she actually broke and um, she was glued back together. I don't know if you can see that she's missing a chunk in the front. Is it going to focus for me? There you go. So you can see she's missing a piece in the front. Um, she broke a long time ago. I forget the name of that one. I always thought it was another Polly. So here is Polly and her little sewing machine and her stamp is a little butterfly I don't know I guess this is home ec. at least hers is then the second one is just a bunch of books 
and this one has some stars. Very cute. Now the little boy who has a flat top, very, very 90s. There we go. I'm trying to get these focus guys. I do apologize. And he's got a little old-fashioned computer there. Obviously, this came out in the 90s. And his is a heart. And last but certainly not least, this one over here. Now she's working on what looks like some art. I don't need her to focus for you. And I don't remember their names. I only remember Polly and her friends. But she's working on some art right there. And underneath is a Polly stamp. It's probably not going to... Oh, wow. That actually did really well. And these just lift it up and you put the figurines inside. You can see this just kind of lifts up. You set them in. Um, but the little classroom's adorable. Let me get her in there. Um, there's a little bathroom. Let's see if we can get this to focus. See a little bathroom there. They have actually a really nice balcony. Like, slightly jealous. Little classroom there. There's the bathroom. And you come downstairs, a little kitchen. It actually looks like one of those boarding houses. As you can see here, they have many activities. And there's a sink in the back there. Like I said, and this came off, and there are, like I said, you can kind of see the staining underneath. But there's green and red ink, which is a mess now. But what can you do? So we're going to close that one up. So I've had that for a very long time. These next ones are my favorite, and I'm missing one from the collection, which I'm hoping to get eventually. There's a little jewel Polly Pockets. So this one is the diamond one, obviously. I'm going to open her up. And this is a little snow world. I want to see if I can get them to stand. So I think they're supposed to be like princesses, or I don't know. Um, this is like a little Eskimo. And you can see if it'll focus eventually. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get this to work for us. This isn't, it wants to focus on my background. Anything. There we go. So you can see that she has a little like ice bed and a little like eskimo -y throne. We have her little pet polar bear here. Each one came with a pet. Polly herself dressed up like a little Eskimo. She's got a little stone in her crown. I don't know if you can see it. And then here you have this part actually detaches, but we're not going to detach it. Where her little seal friend is, there's a huge diamond. And then the little door here opens as well. Super cute. I loved these little... I got rid of a lot of my Polly Pockets when I first moved out on my own because I needed the money and I really regret it. But these guys I've always kept and I'm glad I did. It's a green one that I really, really want in this set. And it's hard to find, but I definitely need to get it. Yep, I'm filming. I'm filming. Sorry, guys. So this is the next one. This is the red or the ruby one. This one is really, really cool. And at the time, my favorite. Um, let me see if I can get this. So this is like an Arabian Nights themed one. If it'll focus. There we go. You got the beautiful bed. Cute little throne. And down here, you can see her pet monkey. He looks like a boo. There's like a little bathtub there and these really lush pillows. I always love that kind of look. This is the Polly Pocket. Her face long worn off. Mm -hmm. You can see her face is completely worn off, but she's got her little jewel and she's dressed in um, traditional wear. And of course, in the center, this thing doesn't like to stay. It never did. But in the center, there is a ruby. And of course, the little door on this opens as well. Very, very cute. Love this set. So this is my favorite as a kid, is this ruby one. I don't remember their names, guys. I just remember their name by, they were made by Bluebird, 
but I do not remember the actual kit's names from the time frame. Okay, so the last one, this one is really cool. It's this blue one. And now this one is like my, kind of my favorite. It wasn't as a child, but as I've gotten older, I love this one because this is mermaid themed. So inside you have like this old boat that apparently sank. You can see she's got a little hammock and a little throne. In the seashell, she's got a beautiful little sapphire and the little door opens. And in this kit, Polly is a mermaid. Oh, she ain't gonna stay there. Her face is a little worn, but her outfit is so cute. Her mouth is worn off, but that's her little outfit and her little blue jewel. And her pet was an otter. He's very cute. I love those. Anyway, guys, we're getting to that point. Okay, we're not focused. We're getting to that point where we're coming close to the end here. So we're going to wrap this one up. We're going to film a couple more, but I really hope you enjoy these. I've got a lot of toys here to show you. So we're going to do some like little mini series like this. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So um, I'll get going to the next one, guys, because we're very close to running out of time. So I'll see you soon. Bye.